G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here today with the CZ57 Avenger. This is day 4 of my New Vegas week, thank you for everyone who voted. Now this weapon is obviously a unique version of the minigun and it offers a few perks. Basically this weapon has very little in spin up time, it almost fires instantly as soon as you pull the trigger which is good. It offers much better accuracy than your regular miniguns which is very good for taking on death claws at this range or anything really further than that. It's got the highest DPS of any ballistic weapon in the game, which is also very, very good. And it mentions these death claws pretty well. I've got this fitted with its 5mm AP round to punch through the death claws natural hide with ease, and as you can see, we're having no issues with that whatsoever. Where's that death claw gone? Maybe he ran over to his mates over here. We'll see. Go into third person here. Are you gonna aim that properly? Fine, we'll go back into first person and shoot that. I've also discovered this glitch. If you fire it too close after spinning down, your weapon will actually not make a, a little bit of sound. It'll be completely silent. So that's fun. Thank you for that one, Obsidian. And Todd. I think Todd Howard had something to do with it though. Alright, so these death claws are going down very easily indeed. We'll try and kill this one before he gets us. So the DPS on this weapon, combined with its armor penetrating capabilities, makes this weapon very, very good for killing death claws indeed. I like that. You know, 5mm rounds have this huge armor penetrating effect which actually sort of compensates for their low damage which feels super realistic. I like to think of it as a 5mm round being sort of like a pin next to a normal bullet which would be a sort of a pen. So obviously if you prick your end of your finger with a pin it's going to draw blood a lot easier than you would poking it with a pen. So that's the kind of logic that it uses and it makes a lot of sense. That mother's coming along and she'll one-shot me, so I better make sure I'm up on this rock before she gets to me. Luckily, she's being bloody blocked by a incompetent death claw, and we're able to mow him down all the way from here just because of this weapon's accuracy. Alright, now that the rest of them are realizing that I, I can actually be attacked, here they come. We'll pop a quick reload and mow them down as soon as they appear over the ridge. Try to knock out that mother. One of the major drawbacks of this weapon, as you can see there, is the 120 rounds in the mag. That's half that you get with a standard minigun. And it's crippling if you actually, you know, want to hold down a line for any extended period of time. But the reload is pretty damn quick, which is nice. Looks like I'm almost out of ammo here. I expected this weapon to chew up ammo fast, but not this far, not quite as fast as it has. Shoot this death claw, take you out too. It looks like I'm being flanked by these death claws. Clever creatures they are. There's another one to my uh, left too. We'll make sure that we kill that one. I might run out of AP rounds, we'll just head to the standard rounds next, and you can see that even though they're not meant for penetrating armor, they can still do a pretty good job of doing it. So what have we got? Surplus? We won't want any of that. Shouldn't be too many of the bastards left now, I've killed the mother and the alphas, or the mothers and the alpha, so there should be only a few left. Is this one the last one? And down he goes. So there you have it, that was a, C, a CZ57 Avenger. A pretty damn good minigun indeed, and heaps of fun to use. I really love using miniguns in Fallout. So make sure you go ahead and vote for, on the Amino for the next weapon for me to use. Thank you for watching, guys.